Hey everyone, I'm B, and I am going to be nervously rambling about sex work today. So in this YouTube video, I am basically going to do a lot of gesticulation because that's what I do when I talk when I'm nervous. So get ready for it. Na, 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 na. I just want to say, first of all, the UK does not have air conditioning. So when we're complaining that it's hot, don't shout at us because we are not a country prepared for hot weather. We are not used to this shit. My wardrobe is jumpers and black. Okay, so I've not been feeling myself for a very, very long time and I've been wanting to make this video for even longer. Now I actually have the confidence so I can do it. I am a sex worker. True story, but I don't sell sex. There's a lot of misconceptions about what sex work actually is. So I've got my laptop and according to the World Health Organization, sex work is the provision of sexual services for money or goods. Sex workers are women, men, and transgendered people. Anyone can be a sex worker, just to clarify that part. So sex workers are people who receive money or goods in exchange for sexual services, and who consciously define those activities as income generating, even if they do not consider sex work as their occupation. There's a lot more to the sex industry than people think. It isn't just sex, money, exchange. That's not all the sex industry is. As I said to begin this video, I am a sex worker, but I do not sell sex. That's not what I do. In the past, my job titles have been admin for a softcore porn site. I've also been a cam girl. Now and since I was 19 years old, I've been an alternative glamour model. Basically, there are a hell of a lot of jobs in the sex industry that people don't necessarily associate with sex work. I could go on and on for days about how people should start seeing their sex workers more often, but let's just keep moving. Another conversation that I regularly have about sex work is that it's incredibly dangerous and I can't stress enough that the taboo and the stigma surrounding sex work is what makes it dangerous. If you really want to be an ally for sex workers and help for the safety of sex workers, then help with the decriminalisation of it. Ways you can help sex workers are paying for their content. Don't go to free tube sites that will not be named. Pay for porn directly. There's tons and tons of ways to support sex workers out there. It shouldn't be this way, but the people outside of the sex industry are the people whose opinions are being listened to. Hopefully you've already heard about the foster and SESTA bills that have been passed in the US that are being debated in the UK right now. Things like the foster and SESTA bill unfortunately mean that less and less people are able to vet their clients online before meeting them. This is so fucking dangerous. I one of the best videos I've found, I will link below. Please watch that and it will tell you all you need to know about the foster and sister bill. Although sex work can be an extremely freeing, liberating and confidence inspiring job, the war on sex work is real and it can also be really lonely and difficult to navigate and I want to help change that. So. I am beginning a project. I want to get the wheels moving on this as quickly as possible. I'm also aware that it's going to take time and be very difficult to kind of get going. So to help kind of fund this, I'm going to be releasing t-shirts and crop tops like this with the slogan sex work is work across the front. Just waiting for the designs to be sent back to me before they can get printed and then they will be on a store very very soon. Proceeds from the initial merch will be going towards setting up this project. But I don't want to be talking too much about it as it's still in the very very early stages of conception but I'm so excited to get started on this and hopefully in the future you'll be able to see me spreading it across the internet, how proud I am of the work that everyone's putting in. You can also expect to see collaborations with other sex workers such as Rebecca Crow. We've already been in discussions about collaboration and I can't wait to get started and hopefully do a little something to help change the world we're living in. But I am going to need support from people to do that and I'm going to be putting more information down below so you can read all about it. I've been doing lots of vlogging recently that's seriously been helping my brain and really helping me with my own mental health which has been amazing so you can probably expect to see some vlogs from me in the future so I'm also excited to be releasing those and now I've put this out into the world I kind of have to do it which is sort of the forced motivation that I guess I need <laughs> so yeah check out the link that I'm leaving below do be sure to go and watch the video from what's the safe word it explains foster and bill in its entirety it's great I'm a sex worker and I'm also a feminist vegan because of course I am. I'll pay for your point.